Hi, I'm Saga. I'm in charge of the lab at Minnesota Personalized Medicine. Welcome to my world. Today, I'm going to help you through the CDSA 2.0 with parasitology test. It is a three-day test. It's a poop kit, okay? When you open the kit up, you're going to get three biohazard bags. They have day one, day two, day three. Inside the bags, and they'll have the tools necessary, the tubes for everything. You also get a FedEx envelope with postage, yay! You'll get a requisition form, you'll get a questionnaire, and you will get other devices. So what we're going to do is go through each day what you have to do. Determine, first of all, when you want to start the collection because you're going to have to do three separate collections on three separate days. They don't have to be consecutive. If you can, that would be great because the first thing you're going to have to do for seven days before is you're going to have to stop taking your probiotics. There's other meds in here. Go back to the instruction manual. Make sure you read through the other things you have to stop taking. Also, the kit needs to be shipped Monday through Friday to get it to the lab because the lab wants fresh poop from the third day. Uh, must be received within 24 hours of final collection. Seven days before, stop taking your probiotics and whatever else is in here that you happen to be on. Two days before, discontinue aspirin and any other painkillers if you can. There's a full list in the instruction pamphlet, so always refer back to this. All right, the first thing you have to do is take your collection device. It's a piece of paper. There's one in each bag. Um, it goes on the toilet. You have to prep the toilet. Lift the toilet seat up, wipe down the porcelain so that the tape can stick. These blue stickies tick the back one in the back first and then the sides, but leave enough so there's a little bit of a scoop there and then put the toilet seat down. Just so you know, we did this. A little bit of the blue did stick to the toilet when we removed it. It comes off real easy with like alcohol wipe. Okay, so you have that there. Then after you poop, you put on your glove you take the tube, it has liquid in it. The liquid is poison, it's toxic. It's also under pressure, so when you open the tube, it's gonna poof a little bit. So attached to the lid here is a scooper. With that scooper, scoop your poop, put it in here so that the liquid in the poop comes up to the red line. Put the lid on really tight, shake it up, shake, shake, shake. Put it back in the biohazard bag. There's a little dry towelette in there, leave that in there, put that in the biohazard bag put it in the refrigerator. Done with day one, yay. Day two, or the second time you are collecting, exact same thing as day one. Also be sure to put your name, the date of collection, and your date of birth on each of these as you collect. Day three, or the third day of collection, you do the first one, same as the first two. And yay, you get to do more. An orange one, again, they both have the liquid in there that's toxic. The lids also have the scoops on, fill up to the red line, shake it up, fill up to the red line, shake it up, put those in here. We need a very fresh specimen, no toxic chemicals added. Take this scooper, scoop from your paper, fill it about halfway, it's 40 milliliters, just fill about halfway, put it on very tightly. Toss this, of course, put all of these into the biohazard bag. So each collection gets a biohazard bag, goes into the refrigerator. After your third day, you have 24 hours to get this to the lab because they want it fresh. It's what they do. Put all of these into the box. The box protects everything from getting squished. Then you're going to take your requisition form. At the top of the requisition form here, you put the date of the last collection. On this page, we have already filled out for you what is being tested and the price. On the back side, you fill out all this information here, and then if the lab is going to be billing your insurance, you need to fill out your insurance information and fill out your credit card information with the price, which will be on the front. That's how much you'll collect. If you don't want to do a credit card, send them a check. Write the check for the exact amount. It's not a big deal. Put it in there. Again, make sure that the date of the last collection is filled out. Fold it all up. Put it in the box. They are sending a patient questionnaire. This is from the lab. They just want to find out the kind of people that are taking the test. It's research purposes for them. If you would please fill it out, that would be awesome. In the box. Put everything from the box into the FedEx bag. The FedEx bag, it's a big bag. It will hold the box. Might need to shove in there a little bit. We have a peel and stick. You know how to do this. It's peel, it's stick on there. Paid postage, yay. Put your name on here. 
call up FedEx, ask them to come pick it up. If there's a FedEx near you, get it in there as soon as possible. Again, fresh collection within 24 hours. Now, make sure you have an appointment with us. It takes two weeks to get the lab tests back. They're very complicated. Thankfully, Dr. Plotnikoff is really good at making the complicated simple. He'll come in, he'll explain everything to you. You will also get a hard copy of your test results. So make sure that you have the lab test appointment with us. If you happen to get any kind of billing statement from Genova, a blue or yellow receipt, call Genova directly. It's all through them. They're the ones that take care of this. Their number is 800-522-4762. Again, anything about billing, anything you get from Genova, call Genova directly. They're in charge of all that. Otherwise, just give us a call with any questions you may have. We hope you're doing really, really well. Thank you so very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.